This is Dr. Tarun Kumar Saha, Senior Consultant Nephrologist at Apollo Hospital. I am making this video for my patients, friends and whosoever can be benefited by seeing it. Last one year I am treating COVID-19 patient infections and what I have observed during the second surge of pandemic that huge number of people are getting affected and the number of deaths are also very high. Few things which I observed that during this stage of pandemic, there is a some kind of a panic to overtreat or inappropriately treating the patient, and there are some misconception in the management of COVID-19 infection patients. We will discuss few of these points. Firstly, the timing of starting the steroid and the dose of steroid. We know that steroids are one of the very few therapeutic options for COVID-19 infection patients, but steroids should not be used in the initial stage, that is when the virus is replicating inside the body, that is during the first five or six days of the onset of symptom. During this period, if we use steroid, virus replication gets enhanced and later on the disease can be more severe. Steroid is only indicated during the second phase of the disease which starts after day seven onwards and it should only be given if the oxygen saturation is persistently below 94. Indiscriminate use of steroid dose and early use of steroid dose is associated with poor outcome. It increases the chances of making the person diabetic and thereby it makes the person prone to other secondary bacterial or fungal infections. The steroid has to be used in a low dose that is 6 mg of dexamethasone or equivalent to other form of steroids. Now coming to the use of antivirals, none of the antivirals has shown to decrease the death in rate in COVID-19 infection patients. Only remdesivir is shown to decrease the hospital stay by about 2 to 3 days. But this drug should be used only in hospitalized patient that too within the first 10 days of the onset of symptom. The use of vitamins are being used in a rampant way. Many people are taking months or years vitamin C in high doses to boost up the immunity. And we have seen people developed kidney stones due to the prolonged use of vitamin C. So whenever we should we try to use the vitamin or zinc, we must understand that overdose can create complications in the body. Some of us may be deficient in vitamin D, so it is worth to check the blood vitamin D level and correct it appropriately to fight against any diseases. Then comes to the point of discussion of oxygen. Oxygen is only needed when the saturation level, oxygen saturation level of the body goes below 90 persistently. When the oxygen saturation level in between 90 to 94, patient can be managed with steroid and keeping the patient in a either prone position or either on left or light lateral position. The staying in a supine position or staying sleeping on the back decreases the oxygen uh, saturation in the body. This is one very important aspect of management. We know that out of the severe pressure, the demand from the patient, and the panic which is happening everywhere, 
there is a tendency to overtreat the patient. We must restrict ourselves to do that and ask our patient that this is a self-limiting disease. Majority of the people, 90, that is 99%, recover from this disease. Only a small percentage develop serious complications and of which only 1% is the death rate. The most important aspect of the management is to ask the patient to monitor the oxygen saturation three to four times daily, every day till the person recovers, which generally corresponds to the day 14th of onset of symptom. The oxygen saturation has to be monitored preferably after five to six minutes of walking so that we can understand the what are the reserves or lungs reserves is there or not and if the oxygen saturation goes below 94 then only we should act with the use of low dose steroid. Overall the disease has a very good prognosis except for people who has a comorbid conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, kidney disease etc. In this subset of population one has to be very careful and proactive and monitor more closely and control their sugar pressure etc. The outcome as I say is overall good so one should stay positive close monitoring and understand that this disease will be going out of our body in day 14.